at it free play radio it's your boy skino that was troy llf with rotate featuring ian kelly and slim yanni that's off of poster boy troy too but we got a super duper special guest in the building today super talented what model choreographer (laughs) influencer actress jasmine corley Hey guys, it's your girl Jasmine Corley. Super happy to be here and answer some questions. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I gotta just, congratulations on, you know, I seen you from Yay High. Yeah. And yeah. then coming up into adulthood and just pursuing your dreams. I'm super proud of you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah, off top, off top. So for the people listening, uh, where are you from and what made you pursue a career in, let's just start with influencing or whatever you want to start. Um, okay, well, I'm from the city, San Francisco, California. Um, and I don't know, I used to watch a lot of movies where, like, I just, like, dreamed to be the star. Like, I wanted to, you know, like, it was just the lead role. Like, I just wanted to be the main character. Okay. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I was in my main character era since, like, six. And that's how I learned how to dance was watching the movies. I watched movies like Honey um step up um and stomp the yard even and it was kind of just like in my living room and Mm -hmm. i would just learn the routine from watching the movies and just like watch it over and over and over again um i always wanted to act but i didn't really get into it until i started at project level and would dance either so like that's kind of like how it started influencing didn't really start until like we got into social media just because that's where I was posting my dance videos. Mm. And then when quarantine hit, I really was getting yeah. in my influencer bag. So. Okay, for sure. So what would you say started first? Like when it comes to pursuing your dreams, would it be the modeling, acting, dancing, or you feel like, you know, you, t- you was all in? Um, it started first with dance. Um, and then after that, I had um, wanted to pursue modeling. Mm -hmm. I remember giving Danielle a list of things that I wanted to accomplish. Mm. And I think I was like 16. Man, And I was, yeah, very determined. One of them was like, you know, like get signed to a dance agency. Another one was like to have a real photo shoot and then like get signed to a modeling agency. And then like, I think acting was one of the last things on the list, but that's just because at 16, that wasn't really one of the things I was super focused on. Um, dance was like the main thing and modeling was the second thing but I'm not as tall as a runway model should be mm-hmm. but I do a lot of commercial things just because I have like I guess a friendly face mm-hmm. um, so that was like one of the things I really started doing first but acting is now like my main thing I really okay do. so when it came to you know dancing and becoming a choreographer what would you say was like the most challenging part about that because that's where you started um not having any real training Hmm. um so at project level we taught ourselves okay and we were we were the teachers so um it was at a point we were teaching we were kids teaching kids Mm -hmm. like it was like we was able to learn how to be leaders and like really get that that i I call it character building but Mm -hmm. it's like we was in in the mix for real like really getting that experience so I think that was the hardest thing because if I I feel like if I had training, I'd be able to, like, I started ballet when I was like, I don't know, I was a baby, mm. but I didn't like getting my hair done. <laughs> so like, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. But like, I feel like if I did have that training, I'd probably be a little more rel- rel- rounded mm-hmm. and I probably might still be doing it, yeah. maybe, but um, I'm a little out of shape. <laughs> Got to get in the gym. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to the modeling, what do you feel like was like that turning point for you where you feel like this is something that I want to do because dancing was the passion and I feel like that's where you got a lot of your work ethic from I don't know I feel like at my age in in the industry like because we was traveling to LA a lot it's like when you danced you did it all Hmm. so it was like I was signed to a modeling agency but I was getting a lot of dance like bookings mm. so like they was looking for a dancer right and okay. it was like a modeling gig got you and then i had eventually signed to a dance a- dance agency but they were looking for like it was like modeling gigs but like it was a plus that i danced mm. so it was like 
everybody like in the dance classes and all of that they're all signed to to modeling agencies like right. they all, they do it all they do photo shoots they walk the runway they do fashion shows they do it like you like it's like yeah. you got to do it all right you, you especially all at hats. that age yeah. like you it was like everybody was doing everything and if you wasn't doing everything you slacking right okay and then so when it comes to becoming an actress in the acting part mm -hmm. when did you start taking that seriously um I think I was 17 and I had got I think it was right before graduation um when I graduated high school I had got an audition for this movie called A Wrinkle in Time um and it's an old movie but they were redoing it Disney was redoing it mm -hmm. and but that it, was like a major it was a major film like you saying it all casual but it was a big movie yeah. but it was that was my first really big audition Got so you. i'm not surprised that i didn't get it because <laughs> i wasn't practicing or nothing like we was me and danielle worked on that script but it was just like you know that was my first time really yeah getting at it for real and it was like i was like dang i really like i when i read the script and i was in audition i'm like i could really see myself doing this mm -hmm. And I'm like, I really wanted to, like, you know, I didn't end up booking it. It's funny because the girl Storm Reed looks just like me. <laughs> like, I met her one time. She's really tall, but she's like, in the face, like, yeah. we could be sisters. Right. So I was like, okay, so I was exactly what they were looking for. But I just, I wasn't up there yet right. with my acting skills. So ever since then, I feel like I've been chipping away at it. And I'm 23 now. And I, like, three years ago, I got booked for the movie um, Punk Kids. Mm hmm and it was like, that's my first big feature film. But I've been auditioning for movies for years. Wow. So like, it's the it's the grind that you've yeah. really been. You've been on the grind. Yeah, I'm hoping this year, like, you know, the Punk Kids was a big film. And I'm hoping somebody picks it up. They just took it to Sundance. Okay. So I'm hoping somebody picks it up. And, you know, like, that really takes off. Yeah. And I've been having a lot of auditions. I'm also signed to an acting agency in okay. L.A. So I'm like, they pick me up and they like me. So hopefully they send me a lot of Netflix, a lot of like streaming real big stuff right? yeah. and I just I think my goal this year is to just really be a contender like I really want to like compete with all mm. of them actresses and actors like, I love to hear that so that's why I'm taking acting classes and I'm just like chipping away at it like it's it's an everyday thing no yeah, like, yeah yeah the grind never stops no it, do, it does not for sure <laughs> well it's a record I want to get into Derek Neely what's up but for the people listening where can they follow you on all social platforms you can follow me at Jasmine Corley, J-A-S-M-I-N-C-O-R-L-E-Y on all social platforms. You got YouTube? I do. You can check out my YouTube. Just check it. Just type in my name, Jasmine oh, yeah. Corley. Come on now. Let's get it. Derek Neely, what's up? Free Play Radio. It's your boy Skeen Up. We ain't trying to do By sitting here and talking This room alone Jaded, cross-faded Looking for concentration Cause the end of the day We gon' want the same thing So tell me what's up Tell me what's up to push up on you But I'm trying to push up on you Whatever you need, I'm on provision. The 
club watch you go back, back, back. It's the only fan need supervision. Girl, you think you fucking need to sit up on my lap? Uh. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. Tryna push up on you. Girl, I'm tryna push up, push up on you. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. Tryna push up on you. Girl, I'm tryna push up, push up on you. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's up. Play radio, it's your boy Skino. That was my guy Banks with location. Make sure y'all stream his latest project, Mashed Emotions. But a quick shout out to our sponsors, Junk in the Box Hauling. If you need a haul, you know who to call. Make sure y'all follow my guys on Instagram ASAP. And then shout out to Dregs One. We just uh, released the History of the Bay live taping with Pilo at Amoeba on YouTube. Also, we got. Adisa Banjoko, his uh, episode is live, so make sure y'all tune in. But we got Jasmine Corley in the building. Hey guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> but speaking of, you know, your first film, <laughs> congratulations on that. Thank That's you. That's major. That's yeah. major. <laughs> How did you land the role? Um, actually, I had. About. Mm -hmm. Um, a role that they needed to fill fill in a um, in a film mm -hmm. that he had started to help out with, and they said I'd be perfect for it. And I'm like, okay. I was a little nervous because the character had to sing. Mm. I don't sing. <laughs> I can't sing not a lick. So I'm just I ain't even. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I yeah. can't do it. Um, there is a singing. There is a video of me singing. Mm -hmm in the audition yeah i'm hoping it never comes out <laughs> but long story i ain't gonna ruin it for nobody but i just look i can't sing yeah. so but they they liked my audition tape i sent in like they sent me the script sent in the tape they mm -hmm. were like you're perfect boom booked it richard actually booked the role of my father as well which is great because he is like a father figure to me so that was pretty cool um but yeah it was real chill okay. like it was kind of like a um direct booking in a okay. way but they still wanted to see me act so okay what's your uh character's name in the movie um my name is ruby i don't have a last name <laughs> <laughs> okay so how would you describe ruby in maybe five words in five words or three okay um first word would be shy okay um second word dang what it's so many words in like the dictionary, dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even I just the way I would describe her is myself mm. when I was like 
in middle school. Okay. She's very reserved, mm -hmm. shy, and just, you know, like, she has a lot, she has, like, a lot of talent within her, and she just needed a little push. Got you. So. Okay, so, ultimately, what would you say the plot of the movie revolves around? Um, a talent show. Okay. Come on, the next big thing. <laughs> it's giving very much the next big thing. <laughs> but um, it's a school talent show, and I um, I actually sang in a church. Okay. And, you know, I just get recruited okay. for the talent show. I can't tell you too much. Nah, yeah, I think that's good enough. I think that's, I think that's cool. Okay. <laughs> so what would you say is probably the best part of, of being on set, and especially, you know, working with Rich as well? Um, I think one of my favorite parts about being on set was um, being on set with, with Rich just because it's kind of just like a uh, um, comfort zone kind of thing. So mm. it was like it was cool being on set with him. And like when we're in in character, it's so many bloopers of us just laughing because <laughs> it's so hard to look him in his eye and be like, are you serious yeah. right now? But I think another thing is just like all the other people that was, I was surrounded around just because it was like it is my first movie mm -hmm. and it's like I'm not really surrounded a lot around a lot of actors mm -hmm. so it was like really cool to like talk to them and just like kind of see and I was like I think I was like one of the youngest people on set mm -hmm. so it was like kind of crazy I'm like okay like they've been through so much life yeah like so I get to you know ask questions they tell me stories like I think it was really cool what is this what is one thing you probably learned about yourself during that time though um, I think, I think that I have to let go hmm. a little bit more just because I feel like for this, it was funny watching it because we recently just had a private screening for the cast and crew. Okay. So I got to watch the whole movie all the way through, like edit and all. Like, how did that feel before you get into your answer? I don't want you to lose it, but how did it, how does it feel to watch yourself on the big screen? It was crazy. They rented out like a theater for us and it was real nice. It first, first thing, the poster because we got to see the poster like months ago, like when we had to, we did like this poster signing thing, mm -hmm. and it was crazy seeing my name at the top. Yeah, like like one of the lead people, yeah. like it was insane to me because I was just like I almost wanted to cry, but I was I'm a thug, so I had been. <laughs> but it was real crazy to me, and then watching it, like I'm like whoa yeah. like i could really do this like you know like you you kind of like manifest things or you like you you got to believe in yourself first so mm -hmm. i'm just really like i could really do this like i can see myself being in hella movies like yeah. and really doing it and like making a killing like yeah. don't let me get a marvel movie come on it's now. over with talk about it <laughs> but um marvel tap in yeah marvel <laughs> uh, any harry potter what's up like i need a trilogy <laughs> Give me some action figures. Yeah, the multiverse, all of, uh, anything. <laughs> all Come of on that. Now. You know what I mean? Oh my god, we ain't thinking into it. But I, it's crazy watching it because I'm like, it was three years ago, and I'm like, I've grown so much. Mm -hmm. I feel like as an actor, so I'm like watching it. I'm like, I almost was criticizing myself, like mm. I could have did better mm. here. Like I wish I can reshoot it right now. Like, <laughs> but you know, but I, that's it, the beauty in it, though. Yeah, beauty like, and, growth. and it's like that's the first one, so I can always look back and be like, look at where I am now. Like, so it's it was really just like, kind of like a, um, euphoric, kind of okay. like feeling like I was just like, this is crazy. Yeah. But it was real nice. It was real. It's real nice. I can't wait to see what they do with it, and I can't wait to do another one. Okay, for sure. So when it comes to you know, just being an influencer, mm -hmm. you say you picked that up in 2020? I feel like I've been doing it for a minute. All your like, life? You've been an influencer all your life? Yeah. <laughs> I would say more of a content creator. I Like, influencing is cool, but you got to have influence to influence. Talk about it. <laughs> so That's the key. It's like you got to be able to influence somebody for them, like, to buy something or to go follow somebody. Like, so I like to say content creator just because it's a little deeper than that. Okay. Like, it's like... An influencer, yes, I can do that. Mm -hmm. But a content, not everybody can be a content creator. Every, yeah. Everybody can be a content creator, but can you do it well? Mm. It's like the editing, like, are you practicing? You you know, you um, investing in yourself. So I just feel like I've been doing content creation since I was like 14. Yeah. Like making them dance videos, like that's content. Mm -hmm. Like I've been doing that forever. And it's like, you know, like I'm kind of just upgrading it just a little bit now. Like I'm practicing doing, cause I don't dance anymore. So I do like get ready with me's and I'm kind of just like playing around with edits and just trying Wait, so to- So you shoot. retired from dancing? No. Okay. I'm not actually, Project Level has a show on the 16th and I'm training. You're the a teacher. I, yeah. From student to teacher. All I've completely. always been a teacher. Okay. But Talk now about it. I feel like I have, you know, like it's like delegate, like it's like, it's a new, Got you. it's a new generation. Mm -hmm. like. I feel like that's really important. Like, you got to, like, 
push up the new generation because it's like it's their turn. Yeah. Like, I don't gotta dance. Like you know, I don't want to take all the shine. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't gotta do that. No, nah, like, it's their turn to do that. No, nah, it's and even speaking to you know the new generation, how does it feel for you? Have been like on the ground level of project level 1015 like how does it feel to be a part of that core and be a part of laying that foundation honestly it just it feel like like a piece of history mm -hmm. like i was a part of like a big piece of history mm -hmm. like it's like project level was one of the biggest things still is yeah, like talk about the it. biggest things in in the city in the bay like it's like we put so many people on and we helped so many people. Like, it's like a lot of people can look back and be like, I was a part of that. Mm -hmm. And to be a part of like the core group that's still doing it is just like, we, you know, like it's like, it's, it's, we ain't gonna stop. No, like, it's you... like, it's, come on, now what's next? Yeah. Especially with project level, it's just like we always thinking about like what's next. Even with 1015, it's like, okay, that's cool. What's next? Yeah. No, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Another record I wanna get into, shout out my guy Pussy. Racks in the pandemic. Shout out my daughter Dakota just walked in the building. Come on now, <laughs> Troy left. All in radio. It's your boy Skino. Turn the earphones up. Headphones up. Yeah. You did this shit. It's all my niggas that was making it happen. Still making it happen. While the world was turned upside down, type shit. I'm counting racks in a pandemic. Dirty money, so the crackers say I can't spin it. And time's tough, so I can't lend it. It's hard to tell you what I am, just know I'm ambitious. Secret recipes I learned from grandma's kitchen. Back when folks was chopping grams on my mama's dishes. Getting lifted, trying to clear my vision. Start to see the world for what it is. Start to see my niggas thugging, now they doing biz. Smile, I see my niggas hugging on they newest kids. Blood will make us closer, know how true it is. Do whatever for my love, we've been through some shit. It's like cuz lost his mind when he blew his shit. I'm never bothered by the critics, I got used to this. Calculated money moves to reduce the risk. One big body's back to back, we ain't cooping. They know who got the knowledge and the blueprint. Drinking pace, we never had the space to get too bent. Got nothing for a nigga and it's two cents. Starting to see value in a new friend. Ran it up enough to pass judgment on his root, Chris. I'm living in the moment, really hustling. We will do picks out in Disco Bay, rolling up on bamboo sticks. Champagne bottles, ace of spade out in Houston. The Molly man smiling. Like this, how we supposed to do this? Got women playing games like she ain't put me on to do list. Vetting these waters, still fluid like a new fish. Was with me through my lowest, ain't gotta say it, that's a true bitch. To know me is to know love, my other side is ruthless. Them niggas know who do this. I'm counting racks in a pandemic. I'm self made, so the crackers saying I can't spin it. They just wanna stop my black business. They wanna tax, they wanna add interest. I'm count racks in a pandemic. 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 Yeah, yeah. We count racks in the pandemic from my guy Pussy off his latest project. Still ain't easy. We got some super duper dope shit coming, but we got Jasmine Corley in the building. Hey guys. While we, while we <laughs> still here, I gotta ask you, mm -hmm. what are your top three movies of all time? Top three movies? Yeah. Oh man, I watch a lot of movies. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, my top. Okay. Well, it's a trilogy, so it's like, oh. do it count? Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Well, I gotta follow. Like, up. Like, I can't do like. I gotta follow two, up. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, Back to the Future. Okay. Like, what the you, entire series. What you know about that? It used to play, I think, on HBO yeah. when I was at home in the summer, and I used to just watch them back to back. But, like, I really, like... What is it about? Because I, I love Back to the Future. The I think it's the second one was, like, the Western one. No, that's the third one. That's the third one? That's the third one. I fuck with Back to the Future. But what is it about Back to the Future that you enjoy? 
I like the connections of it all. Like when they, the first one, like, okay, boom, they did that. But the second one, like the fact that they were able to tie in all them scenes mm. and like make it super cohesive, like I really fucked with that. Yeah. Like, but I don't know. I like science and like, I like, like Star Wars would be my second. Okay. Like, but there's like 10 of those. Yeah. So it's like, I like sci-fi. Like, okay. I'd be liking that stuff. Okay. If you had a dream movie that you was casted in who are two of the other uh, lead actors that you would want in the movie adam sandler okay off the bat why adam sandler because he has catalog okay but i feel like i really i like like billy matt like all of all of his movies like i love all of his movies okay. and i think he's a great actor mm -hmm. and producer and he has his own like production company and i think that's cool like i really would love to <laughs> so if Adam Sandler's listening to this, cast tap, me in your lead. In, <laughs> in. Um, and in a second one, I literally just thought about this the other day. Oh my God, I can't think of her name right now. What was she in? Oh, um, I don't know how to say her name. It's Letitia Wright. What movie? Black Panther. Okay. The this sister. The new one, or is, it's the sister. Oh, she's in all of them. Yeah. Okay, for sure. T'Challa's sister. Okay, I know you're talking about. Yeah. I know you're talking about. Okay. I think that's that'd be some fire shit that you'd be in. Yeah. You know, a little mm -hmm. sci-fi, a little action. Yeah. Okay. I would definitely do all my own stunts. Okay. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we're going to need a big check. Yeah, no. All, all the stunts. Yeah. Come on now. That's extra. Come on now. <laughs> what do you see Jasmine Corley as a brand uh, a year from now? A year from now... I see... I don't know. I see myself, you know, a part of... Black Hollywood, like, really, really in there with all my peoples. Like, mm -hmm. I really want to be, like, a real lead actress. Like, I want to be somebody that is building a catalog. Like, you see me everywhere. Um, as well as, like, you know, like, I have a clothing brand, Fresh. Like, I'm trying to, or it's really my merch, but I'm really trying to, like, you know, come up with some cool stuff for the people that, like, support me. Um eventually i just told rich and daniel the other day that when i become a millionaire i want to do fresh scoops because okay. i love ice cream come on now so i want to open like an ice cream truck and yeah. call it fresh scoops i think that'd be super cute yeah um but that's like years from now well you know what we maybe next a year, year from now yeah next year <laughs> um i don't know i just see myself very happy and successful like i um I recently, because it's like January, like I the other day, like I almost had a breakdown hmm. because I'm like, things are moving real slow right now. Hmm. And I'm like, Jasmine, it's only January. Yeah. I had to like take a second because I'm like, all that work you put in 20, end of 2022, like I was like, it's going to roll over. Mm -hmm. It might not roll over right now, but it's like as long as I keep going and keep pushing, like it's going to like... It's going to happen. Yeah. I know it's going to happen. No, it can't facts. not happen because I'm not going to let it not happen. Right. No, and one thing, uh, me and Pussy, we always talk about just equity and like we working for equity in our own businesses, you mm -hmm. know, so it's, you're not working for free. Yeah. You're really just planting the seeds. So right. it's good to know that you were able to check yourself and it didn't come to, you know, a yeah. breakdown. You know? So <laughs> I'm glad you, you're self-aware and you kind of know like. You got a lot ahead of you and you've already accomplished a lot, you know, yeah. in, in a short amount of time, you know. I have to learn not to compare myself to things I see on the Internet because I have a bad habit of that. Because mm -hmm. as much as I am a content creator, I am a consumer. Mm. So I consume a lot of content and that's like kind of like what gets my wheels going. Mm. Um, and I had to like stop comparing. my. I'm like, that girl is not me. Yeah. And she's not doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So don't compare it. Like, she probably got her bag from doing something else. Yeah. And you getting your bag from doing this. Apples and so, oranges. <laughs> so stop comparing yourself to her because it's not the same. Right. But, yeah, I have to continuously check myself. I'd rather, myself, I'd rather check myself than somebody else check me. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> as far as any advice for any upcoming um, dancers, actors, models, just anyone pursuing their dream, what advice do you have for them? Um, you got to start somewhere. Hmm. I feel like you got to just start. So whatever you want to do, just look it up. Google is your best friend and just start like and invest in yourself. And don't let nobody tell you no. Hmm. You're going to get a lot of no's, but that one yes going to be that big yes. So yeah. don't let no, don't let nobody tell you no. Don't yeah. let it stop you. 
Like, cause I, I, if I would have let a no stop me, I probably would not have been where I am now. So, and you got to start somewhere is the quote for my next drop. On, so you got to start somewhere. You got to remember why you started and you got to start somewhere. You can't get started without starting. So. You can't get there if you don't start. That point. Come on now. <laughs> but I want to, you know, just thank you for coming by to the platform, giving me your shoe. I'm looking forward to seeing all the great things that you do in the coming months, years tomorrow yeah you tomorrow know, you will be doing shit <laughs> tomorrow you got any shout outs that you want to give before you get out of here um i don't know shout out to y'all for listening and shout out to the people that rock with me because i rock with you tough okay for sure well it's your boy skino we got journey be the reason coming up next but here's my bay with club banger know that they don't feel me either. I ain't sucking on no dick unless you is a pussy eater. Can't be fucking with these bitches cause they always be hella jealous. Cause I got these girlies mad cause I'm hella overzealous. I, these niggas can't keep up with me. I'm running circles around these